Hello, you lovely lot. So I thought I'd make a quick free tutorial for you guys because um, a few people have been asking me about today's picture and how I made, oh hello, the blue dress into a white dress. And this is something that I learned how to do today. I've always thought that this was impossible. Um, and I've always told my clients, yeah, sorry, can't make that white. So now I know it is actually possible, but it's possible for a few reasons. And number one is that the dress is a quite a light shade of blue. Um, if this was a really deep, dark shade of blue, like a navy or even black, things like that, uh, gray also would be really tricky. Um, because it's quite a nice pale shade, it just edits a little bit easier. And so first thing that I did with this picture is I loaded it up in Lightroom, which you just saw pop up here. Um, let me just import it again. So that was the after and dun, 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 here we go. So what I decided to do was I first of all, um, let me just bring this over just a smidgen is I just selected my blue tones here and I just bought up the blue tones and the same with my luminance. I also bought up my luminance for the cyan tones and then cyan, is that even how you say it? And then I just decrease the saturation just so I'm working with something like this. Um, another kind of thing you can do here is just bring up the shadows and bring up the blacks. And now obviously we're going to be taking everything else out of this picture, but this just sort of gives me a good basis for now. So I'm just going to export this um, to my adventures folder and that should do. And then whilst that is exporting, I am just going to open that up, see if I can find it. Uh, here we go. And I believe it's saved here. So let that open for a second. So first things first, it's still a little bit blue, but we're getting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and just paste it right over the top. And as you can see, quite luckily, it just fits on quite nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is just bring back using my eraser tool, all the other colors. Cause I really, I liked the shadowiness of this picture. I think it, it looked pretty cool like that. So. I would just erase over pretty much everything, like so, a la that, which is already starting to make it look a little bit lighter. Um, next up, what I would do, or I think I did, is I took this picture here, oh, wrong one, uh, let me reopen the blue one, which I is underneath there somewhere. Uh, Open up it's around. Yep. So, another thing I did is I went to my hue saturation box in GIMP and using my blue lightness, I just pushed it all the way up. And you'll soon see what happens when I do this with the cyan. I have no idea how I'm saying that or if that's even right. And you can see straight away it's really, really making it look really, really bright and white uh, so but obviously the issue is we have we have a shadow issue going on here which is why we've done this on the other one so let me just bring those up as light as I can and we okay that so we'll then copy this across and paste it over on here like so and then what we can do is just using a giant eraser brush we can just just bring in a tiny bit more shadow over here. And I like to use a nice low opacity just to do the rest. And a nice small brush just to even out these sides. There we go, like so. And the final technique you can use if you're not quite happy is oh, to go to your colors and then your curves. And using this little handy tool, now I'm going to sneeze very shortly. Oh, oh, it's going. I hate it when it does this. I'm not sneezing. Ah, okay. Oh, my nose feels so weird. Is just bring it up like so. So that's just a simple uh, curve like that. And then you can copy, undo, 
and paste it back on top. There we go. And then just erase in where you want it. Uh, the only sort of issue with doing this really is that you get these horrible contrasty bits around here. So I like to take a nice small eraser brush like so and just get rid of them, uh, which is a bit fiddly, but we like a good fiddle and that sounds really wrong. <laughs> I retract my statement. There we go. So just taking them all out like so, maintaining the shadows and you now have a dress which is slightly more white as opposed to blue. Um, next up what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in and just take out some of these little uh, weird spots that have managed to escape my clutches. So I'm just going to, using this as my clone tool, 100% opacity, small-ish brush and just going to stamp them out like so. And making sure that I take the tonal variation with me, as you can see it's it's slightly darker up here so you don't want to be cloning from a light, a light area particularly. There we go. And then again, down the side, these little fussy bits don't bother me too much. They will bother some people, so have as much fun, <laughs> go as crazy as you want on those. And then tiny little bits like this, just a nice low opacity brush and just sort of blend them all in. You can guarantee no one will look that close. Um, but then again, some people do. So there we go, nicely evened up. And then that button's gone a bit weird, so I'll probably take this button, copy and paste, and just chuck it over the top. And then just erase around to edges, if you're from Yorkshire. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so there we have a white dress. Um, the other important thing that I did with this picture, since I'm doing colours, may as well show you is I took out a lot of the yellows um, because I felt like the yellows really distracted from the overall sort of feeling of the picture. So that is literally just on my yellow wheel, just taking the saturation down. But you can see my hair and my hands have got a weird color now. So by copying and doing, which is my favorite technique ever, and then pasting it back over, what you can do is you can just bring back all the colors uh, from face and hair and anything else that might have gone a little bit dodgy. Um, so again, 100% opacity, just taking my razor brush slightly smaller for the fiddly bits and bringing my hair back in. And I think I went on to uh, run this through Lightroom and I just toned down the yellows in my hair quite a bit when I went through the final Lightroom phase. Uh, that's just because I felt like I looked way too glowy <laughs> for the for how the picture should have been. So I uh, just wanted to tone myself down a bit. Uh, no one wants to be neon. But that was my main colouring technique for the shot. Um, in terms of how I got the red stripe, this was also super fun. Uh, so let me just undo my hue saturation here. And I shall show yous. Uh, so what I did. And this is where the dress being blue came in massively handy because uh, all I did was hue saturation and oh, let me change my blues. So we took that one to there and then this one to here and then upped it all the way and then down the lightness all the way to like so. Oh, ah, come back. Lovely. And then again, this time it's going to come up as a red, so we can just down and up the saturation as much as we can. And then copy. Oh. In fact, let me. Yeah. And then paste. And then what you want to do is just line that up as much as you can something along that is about right 
and if you really want to be pedantic you could also take the white out just the yellows out just to make it blend in that much easier um, just taking out any extras along here I'm just being really quick uh, I went through these bits a little bit a little bit better there we go just like that and then I believe what I did was I went to my eye warp and just sort of gave it a little bit of a bit of a curve like so it was I tried to make it not too cray cray as they say there we go da da and that is how you do what I did um a little 10 minute for you guys guys and uh, hope that explains it uh, good luck making everything blue white and uh, show me some of your results if you get some and thank you for all the lovely comments and wonderfulness on the pictures uh, looking forward to tomorrow's no idea what I'm gonna do yet uh, have a good night